So I finally did it, guys. I've been talking for a few months that I needed to find a proper office space somewhere where I could record my videos, you know, a, a proper YouTube studio that wasn't in the house because I don't like working at home, even though this is my full-time job. I like having separation. I like, you know, being able to go to the office, to go to work, and then come home and be at home. And I, I talked about this, I think, August of last year. I mentioned it on a, on a live stream that, hey, I, I talked to a realtor and was looking for some office space, you know, some kind of office lease. And Hurricane Laura happened in August of last year. And that caused some problems because some of the places that we were looking at, me and the realtor, and that I was thinking about possibly renting, uh, those buildings were destroyed by the hurricane, <laughs> or at least they were severely damaged by the hurricane. So I couldn't do anything with those. And then, you know, so, th and then of course there was damage to the house and, you know, I spent eight days without power and lost all my food. And, you know, there was a lot of stuff I needed to spend money on other than renting an office after the hurricane. So a month, two months went by. I think about six weeks went by. And I contacted the realtor again. I was like, hey, it's been a little time. I said, I'm ready to start searching for something again. You know, can you, you know, help me find something? And then shortly after that, we had Hurricane Delta which wasn't nearly as bad as Hurricane Laura, but that put the search on hold because, again, the town had some damage, a lot of properties had, you know, minor damage compared to the previous hurricane. But I was like, you know what, we'll just scrap the whole idea for this year because at that point it was October. So I was like, you know what, when 2021 rolls around, we'll start looking again. And then we had that severe ice storm, you know, where the whole town was shut down for over a week, uh, it was one of the worst ice storms I think it, it, we've ever had in this part of the country. You know, I live in Louisiana and we're not used to snow and ice. And, you know, we had a couple of inches of ice coating everything. And I, I couldn't actually get my car out of my driveway for about eight days after that ice storm. So you know, a lot of damage from that. And, you know, with all these kind of unusual natural, natural disasters that had happened in, in the last few months, you know, I kind of, you know, put the, hey, I'm searching for an office space. I put that on the back burner for a little while. But the other day I was like, you know what, it's been, it's been a little while. Let's just go get it done. So I looked around a little bit and I found this, uh, this office here. It's a part of a, a larger suite of offices that there's several, you know, small business owners. And, you know, I've got, I think there's 10 suites in this particular building, but not all of the, uh, the suites are occupied at the moment. Probably half the space is occupied, and it's kind of quiet. You know, there's nothing really going on here, and I kind of like it. I like the neighborhood it's in, too, so uh, everything's secure, uh, security system in place and everything. A real, real nice place, uh, and, and I got it at a pretty affordable price because I was kind of worried, you know, looking at, around at some of the places around town. You know, there's a lot of office space available. A lot of people are leasing office space. But some of it is outrageously priced. And I didn't understand it because there's so much empty office space around right now. You know, a lot of people are still out of work or just not wanting to work because of the pandemic. And, you know, you would think some of the prices would come down on some of this stuff. But no, but I found a pretty good deal on this. This is just a, a one room office, but it's a pretty good size office. It's it's about 15 by 12, uh, it's, you know. A little under 200 square feet, which is plenty for me. Let, let me walk you around here. Pick up my my camera here. So uh, obviously, I got a window, so I could use some natural light. But looking back around this way, you guys saw that desk right there behind me. It's a rather large desk, about three foot deep, <laughs> and you know, about six foot wide. That's a good sized desk. It'll be easy to mount you know, boom arms for microphones and cameras, and of course. Along that back wall is a similar size desk, about six foot wide again, except that one's only two foot deep. So uh, really nice furniture in here. And I actually asked the guy that owns this building, I wanted an unfurnished office because I have furniture. But when I saw the furniture in here, it looked pretty good. And uh, I said, well, you know, I, I've got my own furniture, so I don't really need it. And he's like, well, I don't really want to have to move this furniture to another office, you know, for storage. And it's like, can you use it? And I said, yeah, I mean, it's nice stuff. I can use it. So he said, you know what? 
I'll give you this office furnished for the unfurnished price. So you got the, the two nice discs, and then of course I've got this uh, drawer here. And we had a bookcase that was also in here, which I've already stored some of my stuff. I actually just got the key to this office today. I'd been working on this for about a week, uh, getting in here, getting uh, shown the office and then, you know, working with the guy, getting a key security code and everything. So I'm just now getting in here. It's one of the reasons I haven't made much content here uh, this week. You know, I made a couple of videos, a couple of short videos that weren't really like tutorial videos. Nothing I had to put a ton of effort in because I was kind of working on this because this needed to get done. And I'm pretty excited about it because now it's a real job, right? It's not a real job when you work at home. That's one of the things I've always learned. And I've I've worked at home, not just doing this, but I've you know had, had jobs before where I was pretty much self-employed, uh, doing you know web dev stuff years ago, not any time recently. You know, I've had jobs where you know when you're at home, it's it's not a job because there's so many distractions. Friends and family do not think it's a real job, so they think they can interrupt you anytime, you know, because you're just at home. You're not really working. Also, yourself, you know, for me, myself, I, I have a hard time sometimes taking it seriously because I'm at home and, you know, I'm working. Nobody, when you're at work, you never feel like working, but you have no choice. Well, for me, I did have a choice because, well, I could just not work today. I could watch some Netflix, go to the kitchen and make a sandwich. I could do this and do that. And it's like, no, now I'm going to have I'm going to have a set schedule. I'm going to come up here, do what needs to be done. I think I'll get a lot more done now. And this is just better. Uh, having a little bit of a bigger spot to record into will be nice because of all the equipment that I have. That room that I've been recording in in my house, it's a very small room. Uh, you guys typically only saw about half of it in the camera angle, but it's, it's not much bigger than what you guys saw. It was like a 10 foot by 10 foot room. And it wasn't an empty room. There's a shelf in it. There's a dresser in it. Uh, so it's there was stuff in it that wasn't related to the YouTube channel also in the room. Where this room, nothing's going to be in in this room other than what I need to do this work. So it'll be uh, quite a bit more room to work in. Also, probably won't be nearly as hot. You know, one of the problems I had with recording in that small room, you got, you know, the computers running. They... Put off a lot of heat the monitors i had three monitors that puts off a lot of heat and then you've got the lighting you know i've got all kinds of various lighting that i sometimes use and led lights uh of course the umbrella light back there i've actually got two of the uh, three umbrella lights similar to that one um the led light with the barn doors i've got two of those uh, i've got more lights than i i need but they come in various shapes and sizes to get different uh, height stands too so so I got you know a lot of equipment that puts off heat and recording in a small room is quite bad <laughs> especially in Louisiana especially in the summer and that's one of the reasons why I really wanted to get on the ball and get this office thing done is because it's starting to get warm now in a couple of months it's going to get very warm you know we're talking 100 degree temperatures every day you know 100 degree Fahrenheit for those of you not in the U.S. And that, that's warm. That's very warm. And then that room I'm recording in, you know, the central air and heat in the house, you know, the central air will keep the house, I'll put it on 72 degrees, but I swear it'll be over 80 degrees in that room I'm recording just because of all the heat, all the equipment's putting in. And, you know, it's, it's draining. It's draining on your energy. Uh, it, it makes you angry. <laughs> it puts you in a bad mood when you're working in a unpleasant environment let's say so i'm really happy to be in here of course you know there's going to be some expenses with this uh, I, i'm pretty happy with the rates that I, i'm paying for the office itself but now i do have to buy some more equipment because some of the stuff that i was using at home i can't just move everything from home to here for example my computer the desktop i have the only computer I have. I mean, I have these old laptops. They're very old, kind of crappy laptops. They don't do much. They're just lap use laptops I, I bought to test Linux distros. You know, I install random Linux distros on them just to test out distros. But, you know, I'm, I'm going to need to buy a computer. 
uh, because I'm going to need that workstation here. So then I'm going to need something at home, unless I'm just not going to have a computer at home. I, I guess I could buy a laptop. Problem right now is computer prices are through the roof because of, I, I, I guess, the pandemic. Like It's crazy. Even kind of mediocre computers that would have cost me, I don't know, seven, eight hundred uh, bucks uh, a couple of years ago are going for like fifteen, sixteen hundred dollars now. It's ridiculous. And being a multi-monitor user, any computer I buy is going to have to have a proper graphics card in it that can support three monitors. And, you know, any halfway decent graphics card, even something relatively mid-range, like a NVIDIA 2060, for example, or I guess now they're on the 30, 3060, you know, which you know, a couple of years ago, you wouldn't think you know, like the 2060, I'd pay, I don't know, what, 400, 500 bucks for the thing maybe, but now people are wanting seven, 800 bucks for these cars. It's ridiculous. And these, they're not that great. <laughs> like it's, it's not a fantastic video card. It's just ridiculous. I'm going to have to spend some money because I'm going to definitely need another computer to replace the one at the house. Uh, I'm going to have to buy a computer chair. Uh, I've got one that was provided with this office. I've got one at my house. I may not have to buy another chair. I'd like two chairs, though, because we've got two desks. And, you know, we might occasionally have people in the, the office here. I, I wouldn't mind occasionally having clients. Like, that's another thing. When you have your own office, you know, if somebody, like if I wanted to kind of do some side gigs like helping other people make YouTube videos or do a podcast or certainly with the audio equipment you know I have and the microphones and everything you know if somebody wanted to to do a podcast you know like a one-off kind of thing it's like hey yeah come to the office we'll record something you know and I could edit it you know edit the audio for them and everything you can't do that when you're working out of your house you're not going to have clients come to your house right uh, this is separation of of home and office right that's another reason or you know i wanted to interview somebody and it was somebody locally or maybe not locally maybe they were just coming through this part of the world wanted to stop by uh you know i could have them here where i wouldn't want them at my house not somebody i didn't really know so so i, I i'm gonna have to buy a little equipment most of it's you know just stuff that not too expensive. I may have to buy some, some mounting equipment, boom arms, some cables. You know, I probably need to spend some time soundproofing this room because right now there's not much in it. Uh, it's just got some thin carpet here on the floor. Uh, you know, it's an office building and it's, you know, that cheap thin carpet. You know, maybe put a little more, maybe a big rug somewhere and I maybe do some foam panels or something on some of the walls because right now there's an echo. You guys can probably hear it even on the cell phone camera here. You'll definitely hear it when I'm recording on a proper mic. And it's way too boomy in this room right now. So I've got to got to work on that. That window over there that I showed you earlier doesn't have it, but any kind of curtains on it right now. So that would also help with the sound. Any kind of fabric, you, you know, hanging off the wall will kind of help absorb some of that sound. And then of course I, I need to do some kind of decorating, right? I mean, if you're going to have a proper recording studio, it needs to look good. You know, we need to have some nice lighting, maybe some nice wall art or something, you know, it, it needs to be a, a warm, inviting place when I'm recording, you know, so the backdrop and everything looks good. And now that I've got, you know, a, a bigger room and the entire room to work with, that's cool. I mean, I, it's, this room is large enough. I could even, if I wanted to take one of the four walls, I could even green screen one of the four walls, either mount, you know, something to roll out a green screen or hell, I could paint one of the walls, you know, the, the proper shade of green to do a green screen if I wanted to do that kind of recording. That's another thing, having a bigger spot. The, the place I was recording in before that room, I could only record sitting in that chair at that desk. That was all I could do. And you can only, you're limited in the types of videos. I'd like to do more product reviews, but I didn't have any kind of table space where I could get an overhead camera. Now I've got these two large desks, you know, one of them could be for doing product reviews. And I've got some stuff uh, that I've purchased here recently that I would like to review on camera. And we may do that once we get properly situated here. Anyway, it'll probably be uh, at least a week, probably two weeks, 
before I'm, I'm situated in here where I'm, I'm actually going to be recording regular content here. Right now, it's just the office as is, other than I dropped off, you know, some of my equipment and put it on that bookshelf and, and some of the lighting stands and things like that. Some of the things I didn't necessarily need at home to record because I still got my, my setup at home. This is just extra stuff that I didn't need there to, to do my videos. But, uh, so yeah, so I, I'm pretty happy about this and I'm, I'm looking forward to the future. I hope you guys are too, because I, I think we'll, I think we'll be able to do some neat stuff here. Uh, hopefully, and I think it will, I think the office will pay for itself. I think renting this spot was a good move. If you guys want to help out, of course, you know, I always accept help from you guys. You guys know you can support me through things like Patreon. If you want to make a one-time donation through PayPal, that works too. You can always donate LBC's library credits over on Odyssey if you watch my content on Odyssey. And uh, other than that, I, I think that's all I've got for today. Like I said, I just got the keys uh, to this thing today. Just put a few things in here. And this this is going to occupy a lot of my time over the next couple of weeks because again, I'm going to have to purchase some equipment wait for some stuff to get in. It, it'll be a, probably a week or two before I get things situated enough to where I could actually make one of my proper videos here, not one of these cell phone boomerangs. <laughs> All right, guys. Peace.